Today we have the top 10 most notorious criminals of all time, and I'll be telling you where they did most of their crimes, when they were active, some of their most famous crimes, and how they were stopped. So let's not dilly-daddle and get right into it. Number 10. Leonid Minin he was an international arms dealer where his crimes were not tied to any particular location. Active during the late 2000s, some of his crimes, as you would expect from an international arms dealer, was selling weapons. He was also involved with controversial figures like Charles Taylor, and had an association with illegal activities including drug use and trafficking of blood diamonds. Menin was arrested in Thailand in 2007. After a joint operation by Thai and Russian authorities, he was then sent to Russia to face charges related to arms trafficking and other illegal activities. Number 9. Charles Ponzi Active during the 1920s in the United States, just by reading his name you may be able to guess what he did. Comment down if you do know, I'll give you 3 seconds. He created the Ponzi scheme, where he would defraud investors by promising high returns from postal reply coupon arbitrage. Ponzi's scheme collapsed in 1920, when he couldn't meet the escalating demands of his investors. He was arrested and charged with multiple counts of fraud. He later served time in prison and was deported from the United States. Number 8. Jesse James Having probably the most generic NPC criminal name in history, resided in the United States, particularly in Missouri. Active during the mid-1800s, some of his crimes included train robbery, murder, support for the Confederacy, ooh, not a good look. Also, he was involved in the James Younger Gang, probably the most generic Western criminal just packed into just one person. Jesse was shot and killed by Robert Ford, a member of his own gang, in 1882. Ford hoped to collect a reward by betraying James, but he was later charged with murder. See kids, this is why you don't snitch or betray your own. He was eventually pardoned. Never mind. Number 7. Armando Carrillo Fuentes Having a completely opposite name from the previous person with probably one of the coolest names I've ever heard, most of his crimes took place in Mexico since he was one of the leaders of the Juarez Cartel. Committed crimes through the 1980s and the 1990s, just like all cartels, he was busy drug trafficking, assassinating, and being involved in organized crime. Fuentes died in 1997 while undergoing extensive plastic surgery to change his appearance. So it begs the question on, uh, on how the Kardashians are still alive. Anyway, he was tracked down by Mexican authorities and died during the procedure, which was intended to alter his identity and evade capture. He really tried to achieve Sneak 100. Number 6. James Whitney Buelger His crime scene took place in Boston in the United States during the 1960s and the 1990s. He was truly a menace, involving himself in organized crimes, including extortion, arms trafficking, involvement in the Winter Hill Gang, and on top of all that, he was absolutely bonkers at hide and seek, having the ability to evade authorities for decades until he wasn't. Being arrested in California in 2011, his capture was the result of a tip from the public after the FBI launched a publicity campaign to locate him. He was convicted on multiple charges, including involvement in 11 murders. Number 5. Jean Bernard Lesnad What a stupid name. Being a criminal in Europe, it comes as no surprise that he was wanted in several European countries, where he would later reside in Florida. During the 1980s and 1990s, he indulged himself in arms trafficking, breaking international trade embargoes, and continued illegal activities in Florida, including running a website for arms sales. You know, just very small felonies. Lesnad was arrested in the United States in 1999 after being indicted on charges related to arms trafficking and other illegal activities. He was extradited to France to face trial, but later escaped from custody and remains at large. So look out for someone named Bernard. What a loser. Number 4. Meyer Harris Mickey Cohen. Los Angeles is called Sin City for a reason, and he just took it upon himself to add to the sin count. During the 1930s and the 1950s, he was involved with mob activities including extortion, racketeering, gambling, making Cinderella, and in organized crime. Cohen was convicted of tax evasion in 1951 and sentenced to prison. He served time but continued to be involved in criminal activities after his release, where he died of natural causes in 1976. 
Facts. Number three, John Dillinger. The Great Depression was the perfect time to become a criminal. Just take Bonnie and Clyde, and no, they don't count because they are two and that would be cheating. But while Bonnie and Clyde needed each other, John ran solo by robbing banks, distributing stolen money to the public, multiple jailbreaks, and was considered a folk hero. Dillinger was tracked down and shot by FBI agents in 1934 outside the Biograph Theater in Chicago. His death marked the end of his notorious criminal career, but he remains a legendary figure in American criminal history. If this guy was a hero, I really don't want to know what a villain looks like. Number 2. Pablo Escobar I already covered Pablo Escobar in a previous video, but as we all know, he was a drug lord in Colombia based in Medellin during the 1970s and 1990s. Now, for the crimes, it's easy to see why he became so notorious. He drug trafficked, dabbled in terrorism, bribery, murder, and was the leader of the Medellin cartel. Escobar was killed in a shootout with Colombian security forces in 1993. He had been on the run for years as authorities intensified their efforts to capture him, and his death marked the downfall of the Melodine cartel. Number 1. Al Capone who else could it have been? Being based in the United States, particularly in Chicago, Al Capone was most active during the Prohibition era in the 1920s. And man, does he have a resume or what? Crimes include organized bootlegging, violent methods including the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, involvement in various illegal activities including gambling and prostitution. But out of all of those, he was convicted of tax evasion. This truly shows what the American government has always been focused on. On since day one. He served time in prison and died in 1947. Should you watch this video and think, if I become a criminal, then I will be remembered? No, this video was made to show you what not to do, and don't be a douchebag. I hope all of you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in another episode.